When I was a kid, I had a nickname among adults, Pochimuchka, which from Russian could be translated as a little guy who always asked the question why. Based on that, you can guess I had a hard time understanding why the world worked the way it did around me. But one thing became clear very quickly. If you do what others perceive as great and of value, for example, getting good grades, getting into a good university, or working in a bank, well, then the life might not seem that hard after all. I followed this logic for about 28 years until I asked my favorite question, but this time to myself. Why? Well, you see, everyone would like to get a really good job, really good car, and really good apartment. That was my consciousness trying to calm me down by default. But then why didn't any of these things make me feel any happier? I realized it only when I met my childhood friends for a little reunion. While they were happy about the same job, the same hobbies, the same street they live on, I, on the other hand, couldn't stop complaining. Well, apparently there was way too little snow in Swiss Alps in that season for me to go skiing whenever I wanted. Or I was falling behind my master plan of visiting 100 countries before I turned 30. And the more problems I was sharing, the wider the eyes of my friends were opening. And looking at them, I realized how ridiculous my complaints sound. And there, in that moment, it made me feel very much ashamed in front of my friends. And, and more to that, it made me feel very angry. Very angry at no one but at myself, because the mountains were great, and all the countries as I have visited are more than I could wish for. It's just that I did not see it this way. So on the way home, I had only one question on my mind. If I have been so goal-oriented and so ambitious throughout my life so far, then why on earth I have never set myself a goal for what truly matters for me in the end? My happiness. So to stop complaining and to find more happiness in my daily life, I've decided to throw myself a challenge by asking one simple question. Can I be happy for 100 days in a row? No matter how small the moment would be, be it a, a coffee with a friend or a feeling of home after a long day work, I would need to find at least one moment. Capture it on a picture and share it online with the hashtag 100 happy days, just to make sure I stick through the challenge. Well, rules are clear, but with the first day came the first trouble. <laughs> it's not difficult to imagine that in my daily rush, in my daily routine, I completely forgot that on that day, that was the day to start focusing on something positive. No reason to give up, I said to myself in the evening, what about making or creating a happy moment by doing something that I love? And what about making my girlfriend laugh? And you know what? It worked. And it worked so well that the further I went with the challenge, the more moments I had captured during that day. Now I had a different, yet a positive problem. Which of those happy moments that I had captured during the day was the happiest one for that day? In the meanwhile, my friends started noticing this mysterious hashtag 100 happy days popping up here and there on their news feeds every single day. So they started asking questions about it, and I told them, I'm going to search for personal happiness, and, and this is the way I do it. So when they asked if they, if they could join the challenge, I, of course, didn't have any problems with that. But a week later, I started receiving questions from friends of friends, asking exactly about the same thing. And, and a month later, I had already so many questions from people from all around the world, I was not able to answer them by myself. That's when I decided to create a little website where everyone will be able to come and ask themselves the same question I asked myself in the beginning. Can I be happy for 100 days in a row? Since then, over 8 million people from 160 countries around the world have taken this challenge, collecting only on Instagram over 25 million happy moments. Everyone from Hollywood to Bollywood stars, famous singers and sportsmen, and people from all walks of life have all united in the search for happiness. And while it might look like yet another online fad, this time it came with real-life results. I started asking people before, during, and after the challenge how happy they feel. And they have self-reported about 
19% increase in their life satisfaction in the end of the challenge. Now, in practice, that meant they started to see more happiness in, the, they, in their daily lives. They started to be more optimistic. They started to be in a better mood, and they started receiving compliments from other people. And maybe it will sound cheesy, but some people even fell in love during the challenge. But if that's not enough, let me tell you about a grateful challenge taker who asked me to remain anonymous. This gentleman, in his 100 days, has gone from coming out of the closet losing his job and his family trust, to finding a new job, finding the love of his life, and regaining the family support. For such a 360-degree turnaround of his life, he has decided to make a tattoo on his arm, saying, plus 100 happy days. Because as he later explained to me, it is no longer a simple challenge. It is his lifestyle. So why is such a straightforward challenge so impactful? In addition to all the scientifically proven benefits of journaling your happy moments and developing the habit of seeing the beauty in one's life, there are several things that enhance this experience even further. Number one, this challenge is long enough for you to start noticing the happiness in small things. Of course, unless you're a millionaire or billionaire, it would be quite hard for you to be happy about buying new cars and diamond rings every single day. Number two, this challenge gives you an opportunity to actively create your happiness. Sure, sometimes life will go hard on you, might not give you any reason to smile during the day, but just as I wasn't, you shouldn't get discouraged. Take a look back and see what made you happy, and then create your happy moments by doing more of what made you happy. Number three, number three. <laughs> this challenge teaches us to appreciate uncertainty. Imagine this perfect morning. You just woke up, you open the bedroom window, you see the rising sun shining into your eyes, and gentle wind is caressing your hair, and even birds are singing good morning to you. And all these things suddenly start coming together in this magical moment where you feel so happy and so fulfilled that your soul wants to sing. Now, there is no way you can know if there's going to be anything else during that day that's going to make you feel more happy and more fulfilled than you're feeling right now. So what's the most rational thing to do? It is to capture and to enjoy this moment to the fullest, right? Number four... This challenge gives other people an opportunity to be part of your happiness. As one wise man said, happiness is only real when shared. So people who take this challenge, they get used to this kind of situations after any get-together, when people ask them if they would like to take a selfie together. Because it's kind of a happy moment over here, and aren't you collecting those happy moments? And just thinking and talking about this puts a smile on my face. You know why? It is because I realize that every single person in this entire world wants to make a positive impact on someone else's life. So if we give this opportunity to someone to, to create and be part of our happiness, both of us are going to be feeling happier, right? Number five, finally, this challenge gives you an opportunity to feel how a happy and fulfilling life feels like. And once you have this feeling, you really don't want to go back. So you turn happiness into your lifestyle. Despite all these benefits of taking 100 Happy Days Challenge, about 70% of people do not complete it, saying they don't have time. Well, an old me might have understood that. But a new me hears that people don't have a single moment a day when they would focus only on what truly matters in the very end, their happiness. But forget about them. What about you? Now that you have heard how this challenge has transformed lives of millions of people all across the world, it's about time you ask yourself the same question. Can I be happy for 100 days in a row? Thank you.